somehow the name Franken camera seems to have stuck. The idea is in fact to build a camera that we can program right down to the microsecond level and where we can swap out lenses, we can swap out the sensor, we can put other things inside the camera that we want to play with, and we can program it easily. Existing cameras cannot be programmed. A single lens reflex camera that you buy from Canon or Nikon is a closed proprietary platform. Well, it looks like a very custom construction. It really actually is a bunch of off-the-shelf parts. In general, computational photography should let you fix more things that you cannot currently fix by combining the multiple pictures that it took in a different way, uh, or by fiddling with the optics so that more is being recorded than a normal camera records. It's a bit too dark on the left side. If we open up the aperture, that looks fine, but now this is too bright. I can take those two shots and throw them into Photoshop and get this nice result where both of those are well exposed. I want my camera to be able to do that automatically right after I take the shot. So the main large board here is a development board for the CPU we're using. Sometimes you'd like to be able to adjust the focus after you take the picture, rather than having a picture in which, in which just one thing is in focus or in which everything is in focus. So if you place a micro lens array into the camera, we've shown that you can re refocus it, change the focus after you take the picture. We have also this high dynamic range mode in which you are changing, setting the camera to, tr to go to three different exposures. The whole field of computational photography is and will change the way we do photography. The question is, what do people work on next? So for the last 10 years, there's been a megapixel war, as everyone knows. That's finally winding down. The Asian camera manufacturers can no longer compete based on the number of megapixels, so they're beginning to compete on one other feature. We'd like them to offer lots and lots of features that the research community is currently working on and to offer those all at once, not merely when they want to compete with one another. The most satisfying result would be something completely unexpected. We would like to make these programmable enough that um, a student in a course or another researcher at another university can pick one of these up and create something that they couldn't have been able to create on existing camera platforms.